So let's say I'm interested in seeing more of the brain here. So I do that slice and I rotate and I can start seeing into this cadaver's brain. Hi, I'm Brandon Patterson. I'm the technology engagement librarian at the Eccles Health Sciences Library, and I'm gonna show you the anatomage table. So this is the anatomage table. It's a human cadaver in virtual form. And as you can see here, we're looking at the nervous system. We can start seeing the bones, the different organs, and then finally going to the muscles and seeing that cadaver. So let's say we're interested in learning more about a certain area of the body. We can just click on it and it'll tell us what it is. You can also do some surgical procedures. So I do that slice and I rotate and I can start seeing into this cadaver's brain or I can start going into more of his organs here. You can see we're starting to see the heart, but it also has other features like this full case library. For instance, you can look at multiple facial fractures. So you can see that this is a scan now of a skull and you can see that we're looking at multiple multiple fractures within the skull. You can see the jaw bones disconnected there. Let's look at functional anatomy. So now we've pulled up the cardiology functional anatomy and we can see that the heart's starting to beat here and we're seeing the ECG react. So this is your heart rate. Let's say you want to see somebody that's going through a cardiac arrest or something. But let's cut into that heart and really see it working here because it's kind of struggling. You can see inside here. So that heart now is having a blockage that's kind of making it a little more difficult. You can see how that's also coming up on this ECG machine. Usually students are going into a wet cadaver lab with real cadavers, but this is a virtual equivalent to that. So students can work outside of that environment to continue studying the different anatomical parts so they can become better healthcare providers.